inside out seams. So anything that's trending like that will sell really quickly. <laughs> What's up and welcome back to the Curtsy channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm gonna be going over what sold from my Curtsy closet, why I think it's sold, just going through, just going through my past sales to give you guys an idea of what sells on the app and what I've had luck with. So I've had a total of 23 sales on the app. I do a little bit more shopping than listing, which I definitely need to start listing more because clearly it is amazing and things sell really quickly on the app. So I definitely need to list a little bit more. One of my first items that I ever listed on Curtsy was this gold maxi. So this is the initial photo I had for the cover photo, which is just the stock photo. Then I swiped to a picture of me in it, which is a picture from my Instagram, and then another picture of the model. Now this was one of my first things I listed on the app. Normally I would have more detailed photos, more detailed description, but this is when I just downloaded the app. So I sold this for 55 and yeah, that was three years ago, you guys, oh my gosh three years ago. So yeah, that was way back in the day. My <laughs> description says wrap bronze dress, perfect for formal. I have the sizing on there, the brand and all of that. So that was my first thing I ever sold on the app. Next, I sold this bikini set that I only wore once. It is this yellow floral bikini set. So that was the original cover photo. It's really colorful. It's really good quality. It's a picture from my Instagram. So I thought that would have been a really good photo. Then I have a picture of it laying on a plain background in good lighting so that you can see exactly what it is, a little bit closer up of the pattern, and then the fabric as well. So this one had a little bit more details, good lighting, good photos. Said for the description, I said, so soft and flattering, worn once for a picture and really stretchy. And I sold that for 28. So that was another good listing. Next up is this one I listed senior year of college, but this was a pretty little thing ruffle top that I sold. I mean, it's a popular brand. It was a cute photo. It's a recent top. Like I had only bought it like a month before. So it was still like a really trendy top and it was simple. It was good for game day. You could see an example of how I would wear it. So I feel like that's why this one sold just cause it was a popular brand. I included multiple photos. <laughs> that last one, oh my gosh. Just like photos from game day, fun, cute photos. So that one sold really, really quickly. The description, a little bit more of a description on this one, which is what I prefer to do now. So it says, size small, super cute top, worn a few times, stretchy and fits well, cute for any occasion. I wrote UK six, US four, because on the tag it said six, but it was a UK six. So I didn't want anyone to be confused. So I said UK six, US four, fits like a small, but it's stretchy, and I sold that for 19. So that was a good one. I wore it a couple times, or maybe I just wore it once. Um, yeah, a few times, so that was a cute one. So on the app, there's this really great feature called resell. So if you buy something, like it'll immediately pop up that you can resell it. So if I ordered this jacket and you know wore it once, wanted to resell, it already has the listing set up for you, and I'll show you guys just so that you can see what I'm talking about. So right here it says, make you know this much when you resell so if i wanted to resell that hat right i would tap that icon right there and it already has the listing with all the original photos original description all of that already set up which is really really convenient for when you just want to quickly list something so this next item was one that i relisted this really cute kind of like vintage polo it was cropped Again, I just wore it a few times and wanted to relist, but this one I kept the exact photos, exact listing as before, and it sold in like three days. So this one was $15, and yeah, that's what the post looked like. So it had some detail shots, and I think this sold because this was last summer, I feel like DIY, crop shirts and stuff like that were super popular, and this was just like a really cute, trendy item, and still is. Next up, I have these leather cropped pants, which I feel like leather pants have been in trend lately and in style lately, so I did sell these a few months ago, so four months ago. It was kind of still winter out, so obviously selling in season, selling pants during the winter is gonna sell better, so I had that picture from my Instagram and a few more close-up photos of the pants. So those were a bunch of cute pictures. I feel like having good pictures like that inspires girls to be like, oh, I could match it with this, I could wear it with this, you know, etc. So I have leather crop pants, just a little too small on me, so cute and on trend. $21, so those sold really, really quickly. Okay, next up I sold this back, this was two years ago, back in recruitment when for a sorority recruitment you have to wear certain outfits and you know match and stuff like that. So a bunch of sororities were wearing these white envelope skirts. 
So this was the perfect time for me to list that right after we wore it for recruitment and this sold really quickly. That picture could have been better lighting for sure, but $15 sold really quickly. It's a really good idea to like resell those sorority clothes or things like that that you have to buy because I'm sure some other girl is looking for it. So I think that's what happened here. Next up, I bought this white high-waisted zipper skirt. It was just a little bit big on me. So I had a picture of it where you can see all the distressing and the details and then a picture of it on filtered. I just kind of always do that to make the picture look a little bit better. This one kind of a basic description. I would have added more, but it says high-waisted zipper skirt from PacSun, $18. And yeah, it sold pretty quickly. I sold it during summer. I feel like white denim skirts are kind of always on trend. You know, girls can always be looking for those for vacation and stuff. So that one sold really quickly. This next one is another example of something that I resold that I bought on the app, wore a few times, and then just clicked that resell button. So really good kind of model photo here of, of whoever originally listed that. I guess that's the only picture they had on there. I would have added more actually, but I just relisted it. Actually, I did say it fits more like an extra small. So I did edit the caption just so that people are aware. I sold that for 22. I sold that um, sold that a little bit ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, but really cute top. These kind of seam tops are really on trend right now with the inside out seams. So anything that's trending like that will sell really quickly. Next up, I sold this, definitely in college, but it was this cheetah print bodysuit. So again, I had some fun pictures in those, which I feel like always inspires girls of cute ways to wear them and like, look at that little edit. I was fancy back, back in the day. So I sold this for $15. I said it would be really cute for, in the winter with a leather jacket. Mm, I gave like different ways to wear it. So yeah, another cute college item that I sold. I did a lot of game day. So this top, especially for anyone who's post-grad, you want to sell your game day stuff, this is the perfect place to do it. So I sold this red tie front top. So the first picture is a picture of me wearing it. And that's all I had. Like, Hmm. Now I would add more photos too. This was a while ago, but I sold that for 18. I said it was perfect for game days, Halloween, going out, whatever you wish. Worn twice, super comfy. So I like to give examples of where you could wear these items. In a lot of my listings, I do that, I guess. So <laughs> I feel like it just gives whoever's shopping a little idea about where to wear it. Next up, who would guess it, but another game day top. So this one was really cute off the shoulder. So the first picture was just me wearing it. And then another picture in it, hanging up with good lighting and hanging up again. So I like to have some variety. I think posting an Instagram photo in it or a cute photo in it will definitely sell your items super quickly. This one says, adorable game day or concert crop top. Looks confusing on the hanger, but when you put it on, it's adorable and super stretchy, worn twice. I sold this for $40. This was a bit of a expensive top, but I wonder who has it now, you know? Like it's kind of fun to think back and think where this top went because I did love this top. This was another resell white tennis skirt. I had bought it last summer. It was just a tiny bit too big on me. So I just clicked the resell button on the app. It's so easy. And they were all these really good quality photos, stock photos. So yeah, pretty good description there. And that sold for 28, so. Couple more things. Okay, this one is a pretty little thing skirt that I wore for bid day, which I did have a picture in it, but you couldn't see the full skirt. So I ended up putting this picture first just so you could see the details. And yeah, so just gave different variations, showed the sizing tag, which is important. Yeah, that sold for 25. And I just think any sort of costumes, themed clothing, college clothes, stuff like that is really good to sell on the app. This one I sold a long time ago, two years ago. This is a Bavello orange, like kind of a brick red sweater. So I included multiple photos in this, showed the back, showed it in good lighting, and that one sold for 30, so pretty good. And I think, again, my posts, my older posts from a few years ago are not like detailed enough, don't have enough pictures. If I were to repost them now, I would add Way more description, way more pictures, all of that. This is kind of funny. This is a one that I sold a while ago to Urban Outfitters black bodysuit. So that is the main picture. You can't really see it too well. I was a little cat for Halloween, which is funny, but you can see it a little bit better there. And that one sold for 30. I think Urban Outfitters is a popular brand. So that one sold pretty quickly. So any sort of popular brands like that or anything in season on trend will sell 
generally super fast on the app if you have good photos of it. So those are my 23 items that I've sold on Curtsy. Even going through this just now definitely motivated me to go list some more things. It's so easy. I'll make some more room in my closet and I really think I've got a little bit of daylight left. I might try to list some things tonight, but let me know down below what you've sold on Curtsy and what's worked for you in your listings, captions, photos, etc. Please like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys.